We're going to move straight on. Our next act tonight has been dusted down, lightly salted, delicately seasoned, subtly flavoured, covered in a rich Dijonese sauce and left to cool on the windowsill for 20 minutes. Please welcome the fantastic Noel Fielding! <laughs> was Bruce Forsyth has turned around to me, right, and he's gone, you are the favourite, best comedian I've ever... Sorry. <laughs> now, ladies and gentlemen, it's time for our next act. I haven't worked with this gentleman since the Variety Hall days back in the 40s. In them days, all he used to do was grease himself from head to toe in lard and try and climb a very greasy, slippery pole. It doesn't sound good to you, I know, but by God, we knew he'd make it to the top. So, ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Noel Fielding! <laughs> This week is Anything by Peter Andre. Next it was at 30, then it moved to 26, and last week it was 19. It's How Old Am I by Ginger Spice. <laughs> Not moving at three, he's been there for weeks and no one can shift him. It's Gary Barlow and Who Ate All The Pies. <laughs> and number two is this week, it's up five, it's Robson and Jerome with. Now that's what I call bollocks. But this week it's straight in at number one, it's the absolutely brilliant Noel Fielding. Straight on, I last worked with his next act in 1922 when he was the world's most disgusting variety act. All he did was stand on stage and juggle with afterbirth. I know what you're thinking, that's horrendous, and I agree, but he would do anything to be the placenta of attention. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome the brilliant Noel Fielding! <laughs> Hello. Hello. Interesting fact about my second guest is, for three years at the Edinburgh Festival, we shared a flat together. We had very definite rules. If he brought a girl back, he put a sock on the door handle to his room. And if I brought a girl back, well, well, we never got to that. Please welcome Noel Fielding. <laughs> you, you, you have lived, you've lived with Lee Mack. I did live with Lee Mack. What was that like? Oh, it was hilarious. It was like Laurel and Hardy. We couldn't really, <laughs> we couldn't even make a cup of tea together without it turning into <laughs> some sort of horrible sketch. <laughs> I was going to say she looks a bit like a mum, but my mum's in tonight, so that sounds just weird. Really? There she goes. That's pretty, uh, pretty concrete proof, isn't it? I remember doing gigs with you where you were driving, and between the pair of us, we had no idea how to get but from A to B. But that was pretty sat nav, wasn't it? I know, yeah. Me and you used to just get, we were two hours was late for gigs, yeah, we could yeah. be going up the motorway the wrong way. Does she look like a mum or your mum? Just uh, mums in I'm general. I'm not attacking, <laughs> look, you're looking really defensive, I'm on your side. What are you trying that? to say? You're trying to make me say I fancy my own mum? That's <laughs> weird. Stop it. I fancy your mum. I, I know, your mom. you're a freak. Though. Yeah. <laughs> I managed to break the scissors, cut my finger, we're yeah. 12 minutes in. Keep it real, Can yeah. you actually cut? Stop. I'm not me. I know, but you know, you can't tell jokes, but you made a career out of that for 20 years. It doesn't mean you can't bake, does it? I can't bake, no. How do I dice these? Well, can't you just go like this? Look. No, it's far too thin. Look at that. Right, I'm going. Sure. Let's go with A. With that. Yeah. Woo woo, wait a second! <laughs> <laughs> Holy cat! Didn't they get all dancey on my ass? <laughs> I don't think the bloke of the Titanic ever said that phrase. I'm the captain, don't get all tough yeah, fancy on me. Sir. It's you, you make me go cockney, cos you're a northern greengrocer, you bring it out on me. I used to share a flat with Noel, and he couldn't cook, he was useless. And here he is, the face of British cooking. How did that happen? I mean, the man can barely dress himself. I thought I could walk in that car. Like, oh. Noel told me in 1998 <laughs> that I look like a 1940s greengrocer. <laughs> he said, awesome. When I think of you, you are holding aubergines. <laughs> Your own your mum. Own mum right? Everyone oh, can uh, identify their own mum by, by smell, smell alone. alone. Yeah. yeah, with me, it's Benson and Edges and Werther's original. <laughs> do, you think, do you think there is some evolutionary reason for yes, it? Yes, it goes back even further than that. And further they... than evolution? <laughs> 
to day one. <laughs> and do a burger smell. I'll tell you what's great. I had, I had recently, I've forgotten history all the time. Pot noodle sandwich. Have you ever had that? Yeah, amazing. You drain out all the liquid oh, of a pot yeah. noodle, you put it on white oh. bread, you fold it over. Oh. It's the best so thing. Pot... As you well know, because we lived together, we did yeah. eat pot noodles together, didn't we? Yeah. About 50 shades of grey. <laughs> What are you looking at? Just check. checking there's no cheating. Well, how would you check by doing that? I was looking under the blindfold. Oh, I thought they might scream. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a vampire, so this is a nightmare for me. You're getting peckish now. <laughs> Together, didn't we? Yeah. I remember how much of a heathen I was in those days, I still am. When I said to you in the kitchen, is this, uh, is this jazz? And you went, it's classical music, Lee. <laughs> You did say to me, music ended for you after, was it Spandau Ballet? You went, it's never going to get any better than that. <laughs>
Oh, well, there we go. Pretty impressed that. OK, now we'll replace the sheets of ice with pikery. Again, this is just a cup of sawdust, like this, added to the ice. And as ever, all my recipes are available on CFX. <laughs> if the size is correct, this time it should not smash. In fact, I'm so confident of this, I'm happy to put my face behind the sheet of ice. However, <laughs> this is my passport to success, and others have less to lose. Nolan Roisin. <laughs> Would you like to take a seat, please? <laughs> Come over here. Now get your face nice and close to the ice. There you go. I'm not sit. sure about this. Oh, I'm not, so I'm not doing it. <laughs> there you go, sit yourself down there. Science, no, science. So get your, get your thing nice and close. Don't lick it, because it's all you've got to save your lives. <laughs> right. Look at each other for the last Right side, Jason. If it goes through and hits them, you will at least get ten points for a strike. <laughs> right, are you ready? Are we ready back there? I cannot believe I'm going to get killed by a 1920s greengrocer. <laughs> OK, Jason, on the count of three, I want you to release the bowling ball. Are we ready? Three, oh, two, no, one. Release the ball! Oh! Oh. A bit came off. So there you go, back through. Adding a cup of soda to ice makes it as strong as concrete.